camera. I have a best students in the world. Hello. Hello. First up, uh, one of them who puts all of these people together, Dr. Zulfia Sheikh. Hey, Raven. I mean, it's such a pleasure. I've been hearing so much about you and all your directorial ventures. And today you're here with us to talk about this one called Shehrazad. Thank you so much. Yes, we're so excited to be bringing this on stage. It's called the Stories of Shehrazad, uh -huh. and uh, it's an adaptation of a thousand and one Arabian Nights. What inspired you to direct this venture? What inspired you to direct the Stories of Shehrazad? When we, when I'm looking for plays to do for children, it's I find it easier to find scripts that are more Western. And we have performed them also over the years. But I'm always looking out for something with an Asian flavor, with an Eastern flavor. And when I came across this story, I was so excited because even the visual imagery was so fantastic. Imagine doing a play set in Persia or Arabia, the costumes, the landscape, the music. It can be so exciting. And so hopefully, we're bringing that magic to the stage and the audience will relate to it because it's so closer to home. You know, they say sometimes in, uh, when someone speaks so joyful of a certain incident, of a certain story that they've been quite closely apart with. I must say that joy is showing quite well over here right in front of me through <laughs> Dr. Zulfia Sheikh. I saw the colors, I saw the background, I saw the landscape of Arabia, I saw the costumes and uh, I fell in love with the visual and then I was very aware that we were performing for children. So it's very important for me to tell a story that in a way that's exciting, interesting and that is engaging to the audience. So we've had, uh, we, we've decided to put in a lot of dances, so it's very colorful, the visual is colorful, there's fantastic music. And of course, we have a bunch of singers who sing like angels. So that's going to be uh, a highlight also of the play. Uh, my name is Pavitra Rajesh and I'm playing uh, Shehrazad, the play Stories of Shehrazad. And I think the first thing which comes to my mind about the character is that she's clever. You know, the whole play revolves around how she creates this um, intricate plan to uh, you know, defeat the king and uh, save all the people in her kingdom. And it relies on her very uh, clever telling of this story which she uh, tells. And she's a very strong female lead, which is why I love her. My name is Shruti Ayer and I've been in BSSC for God knows how long. I've lost count of the years. And I'm part of the backstage crew. So uh, my role basically is to take care of costumes, props, uh, blocking on stage and um, looking at the script once, figuring out what sort of costumes, what sort of props you would need. Um, we first go by the script, whatever the script says. Then as uh, Auntie starts directing, we start blocking, we figure out, oh, maybe we should we start adding more to the list um, as things that we need to source and stuff like that. The rehearsal process has been a lot of fun for the past one and a half to two months. We've, there's a large group of people all working towards the same to the same goal and just the that process it's been so much fun there have been ups and downs and um, just all of the people of different age groups are all trying to get to one goal which is entertaining the audience or telling the story. It's been amazing. Um, 
actually, I feel really lucky for being part of this. Uh, rehearsal process first went like um, you had to have an audition for music, drama and dance. Uh, I did good in music and drama, but dance not that great. Uh, so yeah, and, and in this process, I have learned so much because before I joined BSSD, uh, to be honest, I actually thought I knew a lot. But then when I came to BSSD, I realized that there's so much more to uh, drama, to theater, than just coming on stage and saying your lines. Uh, I, before I came to BSSD, I had, I, I had this very raw talent of, uh, of theater, of, and I always wanted to be an actor. And when I came to BSSD, I learned how to do it, and I am still learning. And uh, I think that that's very important for me, and uh, I feel really great about it. I feel lucky, in fact, to be part of BSSD. It's been amazing, to be honest, and from the time audition started to when our rehearsals began till now it's an amazing journey and I can't wait for our show and uh, working with auntie is an amazing experience. BSSD has helped me in a lot of ways. Uh, it's made me comfortable, it's helped me remove my stage fright because I remember earlier I was so afraid of what people would think about me but not anymore. Before I came to BSST, I was really nervous. I had a lot of stage fright and everything. But slowly after being open, having a lot of presentations in front of Zulfi Auntie, I've, you know, really become really brave and had a lot of courage. And I think BSST is like my second home. Normally when I go to different classes, I don't really feel comfortable. But over here, I feel really comfortable. I feel at home and I can talk to anyone about anything and I can be really open. BSSD has really helped me come out of my shell. I feel like when I started, I'm by nature I'm a very reserved person. I'm not the most outgoing type. But throughout every class and every exam or every production I've ever done, I've been stepping more and more out of my comforts and I feel like that's really helped me because had I not joined BSSD and had I not met the people I have through this organization, I would not be the person I am today. There are a lot of things I've learned inside the classroom and outside the classroom that really have helped me in more ways than one, not even not even just on stage, even in school and outside and meeting other people and I think that's what's best about it. When I started out, uh, when I did my first play Matilda, I was very shy. When we went for all our, all our promo walks, I didn't have the guts to speak to anyone. Like I used to see all the big kids talk to them and I, I didn't know how they did it. How can you just approach a stranger and just start talking to them so smoothly? I was scared of approaching the cashier at a rest at a, a cafe or something like that but now I'm shameless I can I can dance on the street which I have done countless times after rehearsal which auntie tells us not to do because the neighbors will complain and I become a whole lot more confident this time when we went on the promo walks I talked to everybody I tried to speak to people who didn't want to speak to me because now I'm more confident of myself I no longer worry that much about what other people think, I just think about what I think, what I feel, how much fun I'm having. So that's what BSSD has done for me. It's made me more confident, it's made me a better version of myself. At the Bangalore School of Speech and Drama, we work with children in a way that is transformative. That's the end goal, to create a powerful individual. And so our program comprises of not just theatre, learning in theatre, but also speech and also communication skills. And this integrated process of learning uh, drama and speech and oratory together transforms kids uh, in a way that is literally tangible. You can see it. And I find that the most exciting and most rewarding experience ever. I have children who have come to me with clenched fists and uh, unwilling to look you in the eye and definitely not willing to stand up in front of an audience and speak and every one of them becomes confident in their own skin they not only become very good uh, actors on stage but they also become confident orators they go on to become lawyers and represent their schools and colleges in debates and uh, become leaders in their respective institutions and generally do exceedingly well in life and that is the goal to create a generation of powerful young people who are unafraid and who can stand 
on a global platform and be able to, to look people in the eye, to voice their opinion and do it with eloquence and class. And we managed to achieve that. Sophie Auntie is really amazing as a director. She's serious and strict, but at the same time she's a lot of fun to work with. So I think she's really nice as a person and I can really talk to her about anything, about my family problems or anything. And she's someone who, you know, can give a lot of good advice to you and is like really close to you and like my best friend to me here. She's not a conventional conventional adult. She gets you. She isn't she isn't the kind of adult that goes, back in my day we used to do this and you do this. So this is wrong because it's different from what I did. She understands that there's always going to be a generation gap. She understands that there's progress and she understand that, understands that kids are different. At the same time, Adi's does not go easy on you. If she thinks that you have potential, she will push you. Adi will make sure that you do the best that you can. And you don't want to mess with her because she also does the best she can. She's the best teacher ever. I really love her. I mean, like I said, BSSC has helped me come out of my shell and she's played a big role in that. You know, um, when you see her interact with students, you can really tell she has a personal connection with each and every one of them. She knows how to help you and she wants to see the best in you. She makes you reach that potential you have and everything you see on stage by BSSC, you know that the reason is that at that level is because of Sophia Auntie, because she's amazing and she cares so much about everyone she works with. Um, Sophia Auntie is our director. She is one of the greatest humans I know. She's absolutely the best. Um, she makes BSSC what it is and it's just so much fun and it wouldn't really be the same at all if not for her. Sophia Auntie is not only my director or teacher, she's like, she's a mother-like figure to me. I mean, I've known Auntie for about seven to eight years now and I really love Auntie. She's very nice and she's also the best director you could have asked for, so I couldn't be more thankful. Oh, I have so much to talk about Zofia Auntie. I mean, she's one of the best human beings ever and to pick out a few um, good qualities of Auntie is very difficult, but I'd say she's very, very inspiring and very encouraging. So I love you, Zulfi So excited! Last show, uh, three shows done, and all the three shows have been so good. We just got better with every show. So I'm so so excited, but also nervous because, frankly, anything is possible, you know. Because there are 85 kids after all, but it's a great feeling. Right now, it's a high. I'm so pumped and so excited. Have you seen these kids? They're amazing.
students, I have this to say. That just like Shahrazad, you too can write your own story. You do not have to accept what you imagine is your fate and destiny. You have the power to change it. If you only stand up and speak for yourselves. And this is not fiction or fable. This is reality. You all have it in you. The courage to stand up, to speak for yourselves, to speak for those who can't speak for themselves and to write your own story. So never be afraid to do that.